Well, let me tell you something, brother. Snort, snort, snort. Cody. Drip, snort, snort. I got the drip. And then flash into a gameplay segment, then flash back to bike riding, then right. flash back to so, gameplay. Without watching the whole video, because we're not going to watch the whole video. All right. What are everyone's opinions on Scott the Waz? All right. Honestly, <clears throat> I feel editing skills, decent. His commentary, decent. Everything decent. But I would say, I mean, this is a six year old video. For six years ago, do you think this video warrants 3.6 million views? on YouTube. What is special about the video exactly? What is he doing differently that makes him stand out? That makes him better than other people who do these kind of countdowns? Honest question. Double M says, entertaining videos but flat humor. Even his recent videos are flat. Right? He's cool and chill. <clears throat> Not bad for six years ago but sucks for now. <clears throat> It's called a personality. So here we go. I'm just asking questions. I'm literally just asking, what do you guys think, right? Like, I don't see anything, like, I'm watching this video. I can't point out a particular negative, right? I can't, like, I don't really see anything wrong with the video. At the same time, it's kind of bland to me. Like, to me, I watch this and I'm like, okay, so it's a countdown of the worst games on Metacritic. He's not really adding much commentary or anything unique that you wouldn't hear anywhere else. I mean, he could very well just be reading right off of Metacritic, right? Like, <clears throat> I wouldn't even know. And I don't know. Like, I don't get it. What is it that makes these certain people uh, popular? You know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm curious. What, what, what made him become so popular? Because these, this is what happens is over the years... I just make my own content and I'm on my own business, right? I don't pay attention to everyone else on YouTube or nothing. You guys know that. I don't really give a shit, right? <clears throat> and then other people just become popular. Like, everyone knows Scott the Waz. Scott the Waz, he's such a hot guy on YouTube. Scott the Waz, the next up and comer. Scott the Waz, millions of videos, or views every video he puts out and everything, right? <clears throat> and that's great, but what, again, what stands out about this? If you were to say, what is the defining factor that makes Scott the Waz good on YouTube, what would your answer be? This is the first video I'm ever seeing, and I'm saying it's solid. Like, it's a solid video to me. Like, it seems like it's solid editing, solid pacing, commentary is flowing, <clears throat> right? But what exactly makes him Mr. Popular? Can anyone explain? I, I genuinely would like an answer. What do you guys think? Because this is the first video I'm seeing. He got big from Reddit. <clears throat> His recent videos are a lot more trippy. He likes to destroy stuff. It's more edited and animated. He made a whole YouTube movie around the reason he has a blue border around his videos. But what you didn't answer the question, right? <clears throat> what is it that made Scott the Waz popular on YouTube? Why did he blow up? What about his videos make, makes him stand out and makes him popular? That's my question. I'll, I'll see if anyone else wants to answer. Literally, no one's answered it yet. <laughs> so, see what I'm saying? Like, and this is the weird thing about YouTube. Like, you could look at stuff that's popular and be like, okay, so what is it? Why is it popular? Sometimes I swear things on YouTube get popular for either luck or popularity or just the algorithm hits it, right? And the next thing you know, they're just popular forever. They never leave. With me, that I never hit that level of popularity. I was popular for about four years on YouTube, <clears throat> but I never hit that level of like immunity. You know what I'm saying? I feel like there's a level on YouTube that when you hit that level of popularity, you'll never decline because you're so big, it doesn't matter. And if this guy has millions of subscribers and he's getting three, four million views a video, it doesn't matter what he does, he's gonna be fine for life. You know what I mean? Like, he'll always be popular on YouTube. But what is it that made him stand out that made him so popular? No one can answer, right? <clears throat> His videos are more down-to-earth than mo most gaming content at the time. A more legit old-school YouTube feel, and it blew up. <clears throat> Then someone says, oh, his popularity is his comedy and slapstick humor. You realize the two of you just contradicted each other, right? 
One person says, oh, he's just down to earth. He's a solid YouTuber. Another person says, oh, it's slapstick humor, over the top comedy. You don't, so the two of you who are fans can't even agree. <laughs> do, you see, do you see my point about YouTube? Like, this is the weird thing about YouTube. There's things that are popular. No one can explain it, but it just is. But everyone knows Scott the Waz, so we got to go watch this new video and give him 5 million, 7 million views. But no one even knows what's popular about him, right? <clears throat> YouTube's a weird thing, man. That's for sure. And again, I'm not saying a negative thing about him. I think the video is solid. But if you were to ask me, why do you think this video got 3.6 million views? I couldn't give you a single answer. There's tons of people on YouTube, the same level of quality, who don't get those views. Okay, let's continue. I got the drip going. 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 It's like a faucet that's dripping. You can't make it stop. So what do you want me to do? Have a have a mute button that every second I'm tapping the mute button just in case I, I'm gonna have to clear. Like this is what I mean. These, these dumb kids. This is what it is. It's dumb kids. 